We'll hear about a landslide in Prince William Sound that only has a soft grip on the earth beneath it as it threatens to create a wave that could rival the size of the run-up of the world's tallest tsunami. It's overwhelming. The scale of it is really hard to, to understand. A landslide 100 times the size of Hoover Dam with a tsunami 1,700 feet high and it generates a magnitude 7 earthquake. Shake yourself. Am I crazy? No, I'm not. Here it comes. In a worst case scenario, the land could hit the fjord and push water more than 1,600 feet up the walls of Barry Arm. A tsunami of 1,700 feet sounds crazy, but it is very real. It has already happened in the history of Alaska, but it will happen again. Alaskan coast is at risk of a catastrophic landslide and a mega tsunami. The Prince William Sound in Alaska is a major fishing and recreational area on the south coast of Alaska. This is not uh, an and the middle of nowhere place. So should something happen there, it is at high risk that it hurts a lot of people and it is at high risk of experiencing a landslide and tsunami of catastrophic proportions, guys. I mean, we think the tsunami that can be generated by the Cascadia Megathrust earthquake, like 100 feet, 30 meters, that this is a mega tsunami. But we're talking about 17 times of that catastrophic proportions. That is what the scientists are saying. And multi-institute groups or a multi-institute group of Alaskan geoscientists is telling us this. A catastrophic amount of water could be moving through there suddenly and with little to no notice at all. Above a fjord on the western side of that sound, a retreating glacier has put a newly exposed mountain slope in grave danger, guys, of complete failure, complete failure. So the resulting landslide would generate a wave that could devastate the hundreds of fishermen and tourists that frequent the area and the town of Whittier, Alaska, further south. Maybe you have seen my video that I have just released about the Tracy Arm landslide. How far the tsunami waves were traveling around the corners of these fjords as far as Juneau, Alaska. So scientists are publishing warning after warning in open letters to the Alaska Department of Natural Resources Division of Geological and Geophysical Survey. And they say... The Berry Glacier that is down in that fjord has receded nearly two miles in recent years. And that rapid retreat has hastened a process that is called, I hope I pronounced this right, debuttressing or debuttressing. I write it down here so you can decide. So, but that means the mountain slopes that were once supported by the glacier, they start to relax and expand because the pressure of the glacier is gone. Scientists compare it with a bunt cake if the mold was removed too soon. So, and then sometimes portion of that slope fall off. And in the case of berry arm, that would involve millions of tons of rock and the researchers estimate that a failure is very, very likely, maybe at any time, but at least in the next 15 years or so. A number of natural processes could trigger that disaster. An earthquake right away, thawing permafrost, even heavy rain or snow melt. The slope that you see here has been inching down the mountainside for years. Sometimes slower, sometimes faster, sometimes it has stopped completely. This has left an enormous scar. So the scientific word for that is scarp across the face of the mountain. And you see this here. The scientists say when we first discovered this, 
We couldn't believe what we saw at first because it was so big. Over the last century, guys, and this is the important thing, at least two landslides, at least, because some of them are maybe not even recognized because they're so remote, at least two have generated tsunamis over 500 feet. They have occurred in Alaska's Tan Glacier in 2015 and the Tuya Bay in 1958. That La Tuya Bay has launched a 1,700 foot wave up the opposite slope of the valley because it's these narrow fjords. It's like a bathtub. If you sit in the bathtub quickly, it displaces all the water. And here it comes, guys. This is, if you compare these two massive, massive slides with tsunamis to berry arm, your face gets pale. The rock masses released in the two previous slides were a tenth of the size of what will come down at berry arm. Berry arm is 10 times larger. It has several hundred times the size, the volume of the Hoover Dam. Maybe that puts it into perspective. A hundred times. So scientists say if the whole thing was to collapse down at once into the water, it would be so much energy release that it would create a magnitude 7 earthquake. And the problem is, None of the previous tsunamis were in regions that were frequently visited by people. But here at Barry Arm, as many as 500 commercial and recreational boaters can be found in the area at any given time, plus cruise ships and stuff like this. Many, many more can be further down towards the town of Whittier, so. Several thousand people if a large cruise ship arrives in a port that day. And the tsunami models indicate that the town could be swamped, and now it comes, guys, by over 30-foot waves in the event of a complete slope failure in the Barry Arm Fjord. That's absolutely crazy. Landslide experts are saying this is really pretty terrifying. They are saying... If the whole slope goes, the immediate result will be violent, immediate. Millions of tons of rock and dirt that will slam into the fjord will displace enough water that the resulting initial wave will be massive, hundreds and hundreds of feet high. The area in the Berry Arm Fjord will be destroyed. Flying rocks and water will sever trees anyone in the vicinity of that will likely be done out over and out scientists are saying if you picture throwing a cobble into the water and making a splash that is kind of the picture you should have in your head for how this landslide hits really imagine you throw a cobble into the water how far it spits Researchers calculate that about 20 minutes after the landslide, 30-foot waves will crash ashore in Whittier. So Whittier doesn't get the really well, 30 feet, 10 meters. This is catastrophic. Absolutely catastrophic. Don't get me wrong, guys. But 1,700 in the fjords, that's beyond my imagination. So the scientists are saying this, the sheer scale and speed of the event, compounded by confusion among the tourists and rail yard hemming in the waterfront could make it difficult, if not impossible, for people to evacuate in time. They're saying a recurring nightmare of tsunami evacuation is everyone jumps in a car, there is immediately a traffic jam, and no one can evacuate. We've just seen it recently in Hawaii, after the megathrust earthquake hit Kamchatka, how the traffic was clogged and not much was moving. The reason it comes up as being really worrisome when we see something moving like that is that we know in other places where there were huge landslides that they typically move, the mountains moved like that before they failed. So they kind of, it kind of creeps along and then something happens, which we don't understand very well, something happens and then it 
fails catastrophically. So in this video, we will look deeper into it. So, a landslide in Alaska threatens to trigger a historic mega tsunami. So, I have to say a potential landslide because it hasn't happened yet, but it's obvious that it will happen because you see that massive chunk of mountain that is already cracked off from the rest. And for those of you who watch my channel more often, we know what that means and we know what's coming. But here, Alaska, after the tsunami that just happened, the 100 feet tsunami, the scientists are saying we're lucky it happened in an area that is remote, not super populated, but it can happen at any time in another area. And this is another area, guys. I mean, look at this picture there, the, the black arrow. This is the rapidly deforming section of the Berry Arm landslide in Alaska. And you can also see that the rock looks different there. Something has already come come down. That's why they probably call it an, an a landslide already because it's basically an ongoing thing and it's only a matter of time, guys, if the whole thing comes down. And this is an ongoing landslide between two glaciers in South Central Alaska. And if that thing comes down, it could cause a tsunami in the region to rival anything seen in modern times. Anything. That sounds bad, guys. It, it's leading state authorities to ask boaters already and others everything that's on the water to avoid the area if possible. Because if we have these fjords, these narrow, narrow water bodies, it has the bathtub effect. If, if it falls down rapidly, it goes to the edges and through the fjord. If you're there with a cruise ship, fishing boat, recreational boat, or even a kayak, like the guys on the last landslide, Tracy Arm, link is at the end of the video, um, you have no chance. Scientists make it clear, you have no chance. So this unstable chunk of mountain slope is estimated at about 500 million cubic meters in size. Remember Blatten, they said it's nine to 12 million cubic meters and it has buried the whole valley, the whole village of Blatten in seconds. So imagine that valley in Blatten is filled with water and you have 50, 500, million cubic meters falling into the water, displacing the water. Look at the edges of this mountain here. That was the landslide that happened a few days ago in Tracy Arm. Do you see that all the trees are gone? Do you see one island that has only one tree standing? So now imagine 500 million cubic meters. Where does it sit? I mean, we see it here. It sits one long steep tumble above the berry arm of the Prince William Sound. That's about 30 miles from the small town of Whittier. And last Sunday's, the landslide that happened in Tracy Arm was going around corners, even 75 miles up to Juneau. Not the landslide, that tsunami. So, yeah, the slope has been unstable for decades. So why are they making such a panic now, right? That you might ask. But new initiative in the past decade have provided new data that give a clearer picture how close this is to coming down. They are tracking its movement. After the motion appeared to be slowing down, Motion again was detected on August 23rd in 2022. And the extent of the movement has increased after that. Increase is never good. So the Alaska Division of Geological and Geophysical Surveys is issuing regular warnings about that. They make it clear. They're saying 
Due to this ongoing hazard, we ask people to exercise their best judgment and, where possible, limit travel in the Barry Arm area, including the Harriman Fjord, Barry Arm, College Fjord, and Upper Port Wells, because they will all be affected. If you have seen my last video about the two landslides that have been discovered, you know what they can do. Previous re research that was even supported by NASA suggested that if the entire unstable mass were to slide into the water below, it could trigger this historic mega tsunami, an order of magnitude larger than the 1958 the Tuya Bay Southeast Alaska slide and tsunami that was the largest such events in modern times. So this is a monster this is a disaster waiting about to happen. It's only a matter of when, not if. They have installed quite a few measuring instruments. You see it here on the picture on the landslide, like um, telemetry upgrades. They're surveilling this with satellite pictures. They have tight sensors and they have given a status update on August 1st this year. And they're saying that the Barry Arm landslide right now shows no signs of large scale active deformation, but smaller scale instabilities on the surface of the landslide. They still pose a threat of localized tsunami generation in Barry Arm. So they're saying mariners that are transitioning near Barry Arm should remain very, very vigilant. So right now, I guess they're saying the whole chunk there's no imminent threat that the whole chunk comes down, maybe parts of it, but that's what they thought in Blatten and then the whole thing came down as a surprise. So you never, never know. They will give us the next update they're saying on September 5th or earlier they're saying if the threat level changes. So it'll be very, very interesting. In the meantime, watch the other videos about these other landslides, the one that just happened at Tracy Arm. And <laughs> imagine you're waking up in your tent and you see, oh, there is a tsunami wave, right? My kayak's in the tree. So that's an interesting video, but also a Kernas Mountain or all the other ones, guys. That's why I would suggest if you haven't yet, subscribe, check out my video start page, click videos, click recents, and then, then you will see. And uh, thanks for watching. If you want to support me with coffee, check out the link in the description, buymeacoffee.com slash silky. And thank you for watching, for liking, for sharing, for your supers, for becoming channel members. If you want to do that, click the join button. You're getting more videos, private videos, behind the scenes stuff. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Don't go kayaking in any fjords. That would be my advice. I see you in the next one in one second if you click here. Thank you. Bye.